Hello everybody, I'm Gamesify22 and welcome to my desktop. Now, um, this is something that I should have been doing, I should have done a really long time ago. I feel like this is overdue. In fact, I don't know if some of you have probably been asking for this, but right now I'm going to show you guys how to get set up as well as get Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch version 4C as well as getting Doom Seeker and Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch set up for online play. So, Let's just jump right in. Well, actually, hold on. We need some music. Uh, hey, uh, Gamester, who's going to edit this later, make sure you put some free, mu cool free music in. No, that one sucks. Try a different one. No, that, no that's not going to cut it. You need to get a better song. Okay, good. Thank you. Good job. All right, then. So, uh, let's go ahead and open up my web browser. And I already have these pages bookmarked, so you guys just gotta type in the addresses. So the first one we have is to download Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch itself. So if you go to cutstuff.net forward slash mmabdm forward slash, you get to the actual Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch website. And so, if you go to this download Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch version 4C right here, this little download button, just go ahead and click it, you'll start the download. Since I already have the file already downloaded, I'm going to just go ahead and stop that so I don't have to wait through it. And now for the uh, next thing. The next thing we need is, I have bookmarked as well, to the cut stuff message board, the forums, as you will. This is about, this is like a whole process of getting it set up for uh, getting Doomseeker set up. So, in the first post, uh, http doomseeker.ddrteam.org. This is the website you want to go. And then you want to go ahead and click download right here. And you want to make sure you say download complete 1.0 package. Since I've already downloaded that, you just click this link and it'll start it. Like right here as you can see. And so since I already have that, I'm going to cancel it. And we're pretty much set up. So let's go ahead and get to this. So getting Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. So here's our Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch uh, version 4C. What you want to do is you want to hit extract to Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch version 4C. Well, actually, I don't need to do that considering that I already have. So, and my folder for it is right here, as you guys can see. Now, um, for those of you, um, just for those of you who are curious, you can carry over your campaign data and save data and all that mess over. You just gotta, like, like, see here right here is my old version 4B folder. And the files you want to copy over are your, uh, where is it? Eh, where is it? It's usually, okay. Yeah, you want to copy over your Xanronym as well, like the name of your, uh, desktop or whatever. You just want to move it over to here as well as, I think that's it though. Uh, yeah, I believe that's it. I mean, I, I bet I probably missed something, but who knows. Anyway. And as you see here, here's the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch application, which you know, you double-click, blam, there we go, <laughs> launcher. Now, now it's time for the part that you've all been waiting for, and that is the Doom Seeker. Now, I've already extracted it into this folder right here, Doom Seeker 1.0 Windows. I use a Windows, so other of those might use other things, which I forgot to show on the website, but uh, on the Doom Seeker website where you download it, you can choose your operating system for the Doom Seeker download. But now, I might as well show you a few things. Okay. So, in order to get your Doom Seeker set up for Mega Man Ape Deathmatch, you want to go up here to Options and you want to hit Configure. Now, what I want you guys to do is to copy exactly what I did here. See, up here at Engines, Mega Man Ape Deathmatch runs on Xandronim. And so, you want to hit Path to Executable and you want to take it to your. Let me see if I can get it here. Your Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch version 4C, and you want to select the Xandronum that is inside the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch folder. And there we go. And it should say something like uh, wherever your Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch folder is, as well as Xandronum.exe. And this match master Xandronum.com server thing, uh, just make sure you make just make sure that it says this, okay? If, if there's any mistakes later when I test this afterwards, I'll just put an annotation over it letting you guys know. And then after that, you want to come down here to File Paths. And then what you want to do is that you want to add. 
and you want to make sure that you add, um, it's been a while since I've done this, you want to hit uh, select folder, uh, the folder is Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch version 4C, you want to hit that, and as you guys see it adds a path to where your mods or your wads and like add-ons are going to be located. It also does it for the uh, Doom Seeker folders, but you don't need to. I always keep my mods in the 8-bit deathmatch version 4C folder. Though you can make a folder for just all your applications. That way it makes it easier for you guys to keep everything organized. And then after that, you want to head to Wad Seeker. Now, what you want to click on is Sites. Now, these sites right here, this one right here, HTTP, forward slash, forward slash, Doom, Dogsoft.net, Get Wad, all this mess. These six sites I mean I think on honestly I think um, these first four are already here but um, just make sure that you guys go ahead and just like add in like blah, 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 or whatever it is just whatever there just go ahead and copy exactly what these are right here and just hit and just hit add and it'll add it into here that way it'll just your if you're connected to the internet doomseeker will automatically find those mods and inst and uh, download them and put them in the folder where your file paths is set for your Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch version 4C so there you go uh, so yeah and then once you do that you just want to go ahead and hit apply and then we gotta make sure that we only see these Mega Man servers so what you want to do is you want to click this little funnel right here called server filter and then you want to make sure you put the wad. You want to put the wad in right here, Mega Game, because that's the name of the iWad that Mega Man 8-bit Deathmatch, uh, Mega Man 8-bit Deathmatch runs on, Mega Game .wad. And then, and like for example, okay, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a test, shall we? So, for example, um, suppose you probably want to play on like, say, like this uh, Justified uh, Classes mod if you double click like if you highlight over it it's, it shows things in red saying you that like well you've got three files missing now if you have these um if you have these sites right here in your wad seeker then if you double click to join a server uh and it'll say right here like do you want wad seeker to find the missing wads and you want to say yes and it'll look for all the, it'll look at all the sites that you have and like for the wad and then it will download them for you automatically and then they'll just automatically get put in wherever you put the file path folder for the wads. And then once they're done downloading and they're completely finished, then it will go ahead and just throw you into the game. So that's pretty much all there is to that. I mean, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, that's how you get Mega Man Abed Deathmatch set up for online. Very short, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh... I'll see you guys on Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, but I'll talk about that some other time. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. Oh well, I'm still here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, see you then. Bye-bye.